It's the story of the atoms in this rock was the same as the story of the atoms in my body. They were forged 13.8 billion years ago, moments after the Big Bang. The heavier ones were assembled in the hearts of long dead stars, and 4.8 billion years ago, they collapsed under their own gravity to form the solar system, a glowing ball of gas and some bigger rocks. And for all we know, despite all its majesty, that's all the night sky is, just a collection of glowing balls of gas and some rocks. But then, around 250,000 years ago, a clump of atoms became aware. It looked at a rock and saw a spear. In one of the universe's 100 billion galaxies, orbiting one of that galaxy's 200 billion stars. On a small, seemingly insignificant blue-green planet, a tiny part of the cosmos had become conscious. But how did hydrogen atoms, forged at the beginning of time, come to wake up? And how was it in only a quarter of a million years, that's a thousandth of one percent of the age of the universe, those atoms went from building weapons out of stone to constructing spacecraft? The trigger for our transformation from ape-man to space-man can be found not on Earth, but glimpsed in the night sky. Every 400,000 years, these variations in the Earth's orbit conspire to amplify the effects of precession. And in one place on Earth, the planet's geography amplifies them still further to produce periods of rapid and extreme climate fluctuation. Ten million years ago, this area was a flat plain covered in thick, dense forests, which made it the perfect place for our early tree-dwelling ancestors. But then, around that time, volcanic activity raised the land up in places by over three kilometres to form this, the Great Rift Valley. 